To connect to the internet, you need to open up your Quick Connection Center. In this case, you could press Windows key by holding press E. That's going to open up this shortcut. Or you could actually click on here three icons that's going to open up this short key. And you could see here a uh, couple of things like uh, Wi Fi connection in case if you have a Wi Fi. And then you would see here all the other networks that are available. I can simply connect by choosing the correct Wi Fi connection. In this case, I can connect by entering the required credentials. And when it comes to other settings, uh, if you do not have internet, so you would get it here as a globe icon as not have internet. In my case, I do have internet and it's connected with LAN cable. So how would I see? You could actually go with more settings. That's going to open up the specific settings uh, for network and internet. And you could see here, uh, this is connected to my Wi-Fi network as well as I can check out other settings like LAN cable is connected where I have a globe icon so which is connected to internet and I can see here the amount of the data which is transferred and if I want to perform any kind of actions to my connection I can always perform here the required settings directly for my network card one other important uh, configuration would be configuring aeroplane mode so this configuration also can be done directly from here for example if you click on here everything gets uh, as the aeroplane mode meaning all the connection uh, will close off so no wi-fi all of that stuff but in case if you want to connect in the aeroplane mode also uh, wi-fi you could always connect it so that way uh, it's still in an airplane mode so that the notification doesn't come up but Wi-Fi is connected so you have an option to choose what to be enabled what not to be enabled so uh, in this case I want to take out airplane mode I can do this this way my notifications all other calendar alerts or all other stuff will be shown on my Windows machine Obviously, this entire configuration only can be performed in case if you have internet access and you have a cable or Wi-Fi connection um, which is uh, allows you to you know, connect it or to use it legally. Otherwise, you cannot configure these settings. And you also have an option for VPN configuration. Let's say in case if you have any kind of you know, VPN connections, you could use here um, so that uh, it connects to your virtual private network or your office networks or directly from here you can also do the mobile hotspot by sharing your uh, laptop's internet to another computer or another phone or something like that you could do it directly from here just like your phone uh, you could also share the internet with other devices let's say in case if you have any proxy configurations to be configured you can do it here by setting up a script or proxy server uh, you could enter the proxy server name and the IP address and the port number so that the uh, internet will route throughout your proxy or your firewall configuration that way uh, you're getting the internet so this is where you could do that configuration also for the proxy specific and also if you want to perform any kind of you know additional uh, or advanced network configuration you could always do that in my case if you see here I have a couple of network cards and Wi-Fi connection so this is a physical machine which I'm showing so I might have you know other settings in case if I want to you know, reset all the network configuration to your factory settings I could do that I hope it's useful for you to configure the network and the internet configurations for you and we'll continue with the next lecture